everyone welcome to another painting process video this time around I'll be showing you the process for power from chainsaw man it turned out pretty well I'm not going to show the line art um, even though I filmed it because it might make the video too long but you can check out the painting process itself I wanted to just talk about AI art and it is something that is getting more concerning as time goes on. I will admit, I will even say I vastly underestimated certain features and that comes down to certain things coming to light and just playing around with it more and asking friends to try it out as well. As time goes on, the technical side of the art has kind of increase quite a bit in quality. In fact, I'm starting to get very impressed by what uh, AI art is capable of doing now. What used to be problems now tend to be solved with the right prompts. Now there are ethic problems when it comes to these sort of things, like putting artists' names in the prompts can yield you very good results, but it's sort of in the very iffy territory when it comes to copyright. But let's ignore all of that. I wanted to really give something for the artists to not feel so doomed when it comes to AI art. Because as of now, I'm still not seeing it in AI art. And there's one thing that I mentioned last time that still AI art doesn't seem to get. And again, this is something that AI art could eventually hit, but I don't think it will. And it comes down to sim quite simply the human element of a piece. This thought came into my head when I saw an article about somebody being able to replicate the work of Kim Jong-gi, the uh, recently deceased artist, uh, rest in peace. And there was obviously a well-deserved uproar when it comes to that. But really people aren't analyzing the actual work too much and rather they're only looking at the ethics behind it. And I think that's slightly incorrect here. When I'm looking at the AI-generated Kim Jong-gi work, it's getting close, but it's not really capturing the soul of his work. I said in the last video where I was painting over Rebecca from Cyberpunk that there is something weird that AI art always gives and they're able to capture the technical look of things, but the decisions that they make, the AI makes, never really understands why something works. In other words, when I look at the AI version of the Kim Jong-gi work, yes, by and large, it creates sort of like an emulation of what his work tends to look like, but there's a lot of little decisions here and there that just don't make sense in the grander scheme of things. This is, in other words, the stuff that you see when you look at uh, AI art, a lot of these abstract meldings and just weird things just melding, like shapes put together. Those are the places where the AI art is sort of, they kind of get the impression of what they're trying to emulate, but they don't know why. So they're trying to figure it out themselves algorithmically but it's never going to have that human element hence why even though the AI Kim Jong-gi has that feel to it they always seem like there's something wrong with the work whereas the human Kim Jong-gi his work he's actively making human decisions for artistic and aesthetic reasons and that's something that the AI art can never really truly get. And I, again, I'm gonna probably, this might age like milk, 
given enough time. But at the same time, there's something I'm more than confident to say that it's very hard to replicate on AI. There are so many micro decisions that artists make as they're painting and drawing that it's very hard to program why something works, especially because art is ultimately relative to each other. Every element in a piece has relevance in deciding future elements in a piece. And everything works together to create the soul of the artist. I've always said in other videos that decisions decide the style of an artist, and this is no different. When AI art is replicating and emulating an artist, they might be able to capture the look, but they don't understand why that look came to existence. So they may be able to get maybe 80% of what the artists look for, but they won't get the final 20% that makes the artist style authentic. And there's always something that will feel wrong if there's no artist to curate it. And that's really what I feel personally the future of AI art is, where the AI will be used as a tool and studios will opt to use it to save money, but there's always going to be artists to curate and really paint over weird parts of AI art. I don't think AI art will be ever capable of fixing the human element of things. I could be wrong, but there's just so many decisions that has to be made that I don't think AI truly understands in context of the whole picture of the artwork and style. This might come off as very confusing, but I'm gonna give you an example when it comes to that. If I were to put a prompt as maybe I want to draw a, let's say a female chef in a Chinese restaurant um, drawn by Kim Jung-gi. You could probably put a lot more prompts to that. Maybe the chef is cooking certain things, there's certain patrons around, decorations and all that. I want you to be as specific as possible. I don't think AI will ever be able to know exactly how to get all those elements working together in an aesthetically pleasing image with the same scrutiny that Kim Jong-gi would have made when he was alive. Now, I, there is a caveat to that. AI art is able to generate thousands and thousands of images very, very quickly. So maybe among those, it lucks out RNGs, something that does seem like it looks pretty freaking bang on. But by and large, again, AI would not be able to understand exactly why that image that seems to be working came to be. It is certainly upsetting to see deceased artists being used as prompts for AI, which is really dystopian cyberpunk in its own way. But at the same time, um, I'm not seeing the human soul in most of the artwork that comes out of AI, almost all even. Again, this could age like milk over time, but if there's one thing I'm very confident in, it's this. I've studied a lot of styles and artists and it is something that I don't think AI will truly, truly understand even if it's developed past a certain point. And we're at the point where diminishing returns are coming into play. So while there was a massive leap in AI technology, it's going to hit a ceiling without artist intervention. Studios which want to save money may opt to use AI art in the future, and I'm sure it's probably happening now, but without artists curating it, it's always going to reek of that AI art feeling. Now that's not to say that the community at large will not support it or they will support it. That's up in the air, but 
I'm speaking from an artwork standpoint, and I'm personally not seeing it just yet. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the process for power from Chainsaw Man, and I'll see you next time.